sixth graders today, and we're going to be continuing our unit and all our lessons about simple machines. And today's is going to be about screws. So how many of you have either built something using screws, or you've probably seen screws in your furniture or something around your house? Does everybody know what a screw is? You've seen it before? Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at screws a little bit closer and kind of find out what some of the characteristics of them are. But first thing we're going to do we're going to have a one-minute scavenger hunt around the class. Okay? There's going to be no pushing or shoving or any of those other shenanigans, okay? We're going to spread out, and you're going to find as many screws as you can. We're not going to take anything apart and actually, like, have the screws, but we're just going to find them, and that way we'll get a good idea of all the different types of screws that there are, okay? So I will give you one minute, starting in three, two... One, go. Yeah, one. Whoa, Kyle, you said no pushing. Screw. Two. Three. Four. There's one, two, three, four. You stay in the classroom, Morgan. I'm not in my own classroom. Can you count? No. Oh, it's one. It's one. sizes. Why do you think that there's screws of different sizes? Why aren't they all just, you know, this big or why aren't they all this big? Why do they come in different sizes? Could it be because that they're put in screws that are stronger than others? Right. That could be. Yep. Maybe the size of them makes a difference in uh, their ability to hold things together. Yep. Anybody else think of a reason? So like the screw in this chair, you don't need a screw that's this big. Right, so for different purposes, they're different sizes, so. Right, so you guys did a good job, way to find a bunch of screws. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna watch a short video. It's kinda it's gonna introduce us to, yeah, turn on. It's gonna introduce us to uh, some of the other characteristics of screws, and then uh, after the video's over, I'll ask you a couple questions so you need to make sure you're paying attention, okay? Thank you. 
right, so that video mentioned two very important parts that all screws have, or two things that they're all made out of. What were those two things? Anyone know? Do you remember? There's threads. There's threads. There's threads. What? They are threads. What other simple machine that we've learned about? What are those threads made out of? What other simple machine are those? Did you catch that? It's a simple machine. Incline plane. An incline plane, right. That is what the threads or the like the spiral of the screw is made out of. Okay? And what other part of the screw is there? Like the shaft, right. The part in the middle. Some some people call it a cylinder or a shaft. So that that's that's what that is. So what we're gonna do next is you all have your supplies. We're going to make our own little screw. The purpose of this, we want to see that it actually is made out of an incline plane, okay? So you all have your triangles right here, hold those up. All right, so this is our incline plane, like Mike was saying. Like it's a, an incline plane, just so we can remember. Remember we learned it was a flat surface, okay? What makes it inclined is basically one end is higher than the other, okay? So that's what all screws are made out of. And then we have a crayon. Everyone has a crayon, I believe, right? That was going to be the shaft, like Star was saying. It's going to be the shaft of our screw. So if I was teaching this lesson to a real classroom, maybe depending on the class, I might just have them go with it and make their own screw out of this, or else we might do it together. I think for the purposes of this lesson, I'll just we'll just do it together, make our own little screw. Where's my tape end up? Oh, I forgot to grab some. All right. So using just three things, the tape, our shaft and our incline plane will make a little example of a screw. So the first thing we're going to do is we have the, the two legs of the triangle, okay? The short side of the triangle, right here, not the long side. But the shortest side, we wanna put that right on top of our crayon, right on top of our shaft, just like this. Okay, and we wanna tape that down. So using one of those pieces of tape, we'll go ahead and tape that down, okay? tape down okay and to kind of show how the incline plane how it wraps around the rod and creates a screw what we'll do is we'll do the same thing we'll go ahead and wrap our paper around our rod okay go ahead and wrap it until you can't wrap it anymore Once you have that all wrapped, you can take your other piece of tape and take the other side of your incline plane down. All right, how's everybody doing? You got that? Yeah. Put that tape down. Mm -hmm. So now if we look at it, of course it's not gonna have the ridges like a regular screw would because you know we're making them out of paper and crayons, but can you kind of see where where the highlighted edges are, where it's, you know, like if it were a screw, those would be the edges, those would be the, the threads. Can you kind of see that? Mm -hmm. So that way we can see, you know, if in fact a screw really is made out of an inclined plane and a rod. And so that was the purpose of this lesson is we can kind of prove to ourselves through building one of our own that a screw really is a simple machine and it's made out of an inclined plane and then oh, oh, and a rod in the middle. So what I would do to evaluate the lesson is first of all participation, making sure they're completing the project. And I would also have them, uh, I would have some questions that, re, uh, that came from the video as far as some purposes of screws, again, what they're made out of, and uh, some, some other ways that we can use them in, in our daily lives. So that's my lesson. Thanks.